Welcome back to the Crypto Report, everybody. I am Crypto Kip. Today, we are going to be talking about the Kronos Crypto.com, the Crowcoin burn proposal that is going on right now. It was announced that this proposal is out on the table, but the burn is not yet 100% confirmed for sure. In fact, there is a vote that's coming out. And if you care about this decision that's going to be made, whether you want the burn or you don't, or you want a different type of burn than the one proposed, you got to get involved as a Kronos holder, as somebody in the Crypto.com community, and you got to pay attention. We're going to talk about everything you need to know with this in this video, where you need to go to get involved in the discussion and talk about what I think the outcome of this is going to be. And we'll also look at the price action going on for Crypto.com versus Bitcoin right now, Crowcoin versus BTC, which is actually moving up, which is fantastic to see. Let's get into the content, guys. If you like the video, smash up the like button, subscribe to the channel. We're doing five videos every single day for you. And at 10,000 subscribers, we are giving away $1,000 worth of Bitcoin to one lucky subscriber. So don't miss out on that, guys. The overall market cap is slightly down today. $1.18 trillion. Bitcoin just going down, kind of uh, consolidating a little bit after a big move up to $27,822 right now. Uh, looking at Crowcoin right now, sitting at rank number 37, just teetering between rank number 35 and rank number 39, sitting at $1.7 uh, billion market cap right now, which is pretty all right. We'll look at the chart for uh, Crow versus Bitcoin here in a minute. But what is going on in terms of this burn conversation, it is coming on May 2nd, guys. On May 2nd, there is a vote coming out. Kronos is tweeting a lot more. They are getting more active in the Twitter community talking about this and spreading the information about this burn proposal that's been proposed on GitHub, uh, asking you to get involved. You can get involved on Discord. You can get involved in GitHub. But this vote is coming up, guys, on May 2nd. So I'm telling you right now, we will have a decision whether this burn happens or whether it won't happen on May 2nd. As for when the actual burn will start getting implemented, we'll have to see if it gets implemented, when it will get implemented. Uh, but here are the details. So if you just click on the link, you can see the actual proposal here if you go to the GitHub link on Twitter uh, from the Kronos team. They introduced the entire thing. It's going to decrease the inflation rate by 0.4% uh, for Crow, which is good. But what does this mean for Kronos investors? It means A, if you are staking your Kronos tokens in the DeFi wallet, you will earn less interest. And if you're a validator, you will also earn less, but there will be less inflation for the Crow token. So hypothetically, it could help in the short term move the price of Crow up, just getting more burning because it is inflationary. Burning can be good for uh, the tokenomics and excitement in the community for the token. And their argument would be if there's more excitement and there's more price action, more people will be attracted to the project, more development will happen and the price action will be better and there will be just more utility on the on the chain. So there's a debate going on. Do Are we willing to accept less uh, rewards for future growth potential? Uh, or is this out of the question and, you know, do we do we think Crow's just fine as it is? And Or maybe, you know, you want a different burning mechanism. So the one proposed right now is basically uh, there's a burn wallet going to be created, a community burn pool, and a percentage of these, these fees that are collected through these validators are going to just be basically burned. And so everybody will get less rewards, but crows will be burned. Other people are saying, maybe we need to just burn every transaction that happens on the network. I personally like that one a lot. I see a lot of people in this thread. If you look through all the comments, they are agreeing as well. So a lot of people like that. A lot of people do like this proposal as well, but there are some people out there that do not like this proposal. Now, if you don't like the proposal or if you do, just make sure you guys get involved, go to GitHub, get in involved in this conversation and cast your vote, guys. Um, this is coming up very, very soon. I can tell you, here's a large validator. I looked at him on Twitter, Crow Finland, uh, very, very large validator. And uh, these are two Finnish brothers have a mainnet node. They do not like this node. The proposal is based on false information, they say, and a bug. Uh, you know, this gets very technical. Uh, it's it's over quite, quite a few people's heads, so I'm not getting into the weeds on this. But they don't like the proposal. They don't think that we should be burning um, these rewards, and they don't want to collect less fees, which 
I can understand. Um, but, you know, there's an argument you made uh, that some people say, you know, we don't need these extra fees and it will help out. They would like to argue, and if you go to what their solution proposal is, they propose the entire thing. So if you want to see why they're against it, I mean, really, they say 100 million crow uh, is just too small amount. It won't have any effect on the price. Uh, and, uh, you know, it's just basically, you know, why would we burn our awards if it's really not going to do anything? So that's the argument. I don't think it's a strong argument, but I can also understand it. Uh, the solution they propose instead is CDC to burn all of their crow, which would be great. I'd love for CDC to burn their crow. Uh, they'd burn one to three billion of their crow out of the 30 billion in supply. That would be spectacular. I say, why not burn it all? You know, the, <laughs> the more it burns, the merrier in my mind. But it's a very strong debate, you know, and so nobody's right here. Everybody's got an opinion. Um, if you want to be involved in the discussion, I urge you to cast your vote, guys. But this is very exciting, and I think this could potentially bring some upward movement to the price of Crow if a burn does get approved. So this is getting very exciting. This is a very real conversation. Uh, it's not just clickbait anymore, you know, a Crow burn. It's it's real. There's a conversation going on. We got to see if it passes. It, as this is happening, I don't think it's a coincidence. Crow is starting to turn green versus Bitcoin, which is very, very cool to see. We're finally getting a little bit of a weekly green candle for Crypto.com's Crow token versus Bitcoin. Does it have something to do with the burn proposal? Let me know what you think in the comments down below, or do you think it's just time for an altcoin rally? Regardless, it is moving up versus Bitcoin as the overall market cap's moving down. As the price of Bitcoin's moving down today, and right now testing this level that I've been talking about for a while, Crow is actually moving on up, which is super great to see. Uh, even, you know, at, at one point it had a upwards of a 10% move in one time in this candle against Bitcoin, currently only up about, you know, 5% against Bitcoin, which is actually really great to see. Um, of course, there's still room for downside, but I would love to see this thing continue to move up at least to this blue resistance uh, and complete this move, you know, with another 15% gains versus Bitcoin. And then again, moving into the bull market, guys, I'd love to see, absolutely love to see. And I do expect to see, you know, an additional 600% upward move versus Bitcoin. And who knows, maybe we even break out above this previous resistance. The fact of the matter is this, guys, Kronos chain is only two years old. There's only 21 participants in this GitHub. So this conversation needs to get more engagement. We need to get more people in the conversation talking about Kronos Chain, voting on the future of Kronos Chain. It is only two years old, the Kronos Chain. So a lot coming as a bull run comes, guys. More things are heating up, more excitement going on in crypto and for chains that are growing like Kronos, guys. So I'm very excited. We are giving away a loaded line of 25,000 subscribers on this channel, so don't miss this giveaway. Follow us on underscore Crypto Report. And if you're not already a member, consider joining as a member to our YouTube channel. Uh, you get access to our private Discord and uh, custom emojis during our live streams every Tuesday, Thursday at 5.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. Guys, that's all I got in this one. I'm Crypto Kip. This is the Crypto Report. Don't forget to smash up the like button, subscribe to the channel, and as always, you got to remember, folks, to DCA HODL, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks, everybody. Have a great night. Got two videos for you right here if you want to check them out. Peace.